I was glad that I went on there with my baby. It was an event these SAC RT passengers won't soon forget. I was supposed to get on one of those trains and I was had to reroute. And one that's changed what they think about when in transit. My anxiety level has gone up a bit about it. Even the way I sit is different now. This two page preliminary report from the NTSB sheds new light on what led up to the crash that injured more than two dozen people. Here's how it happened. The NTSB says a maintenance technician testing an out of service train number 310 was given verbal permission from the Metro Control Center to enter the main line. The train was stopped with the front facing south on the outbound track. Meanwhile, the number nine passenger train, which was 15 minutes behind schedule, was given signal approval to move northbound on the same track. It was traveling 32 miles an hour at the time. That's when the passenger train collided with the stopped train just after 930 at night. Now, two months after the crash, passengers question why it happened. How can they mess that up? Like, this is supposed to be a dependable system, not everybody. It's supposed to be safe. They were given permission to be on track at the same time, but why? Getting that answer could take many more months as the NTSB continues to investigate. While no one from SACRT was made available for an on-camera interview, a spokesperson told KCRA through email, quote, SACRT implemented various corrective improvement actions immediately following the light rail train incident, two of which include SACRT has at a minimum two people in the control room whenever there is a revenue service train on the main line and SACRT will also only test trains on the main line after revenue service.